We're going to start with a topic from Facebook today uh, that I, I want to, I was going to make a video about this, but then I thought, you know, I should just address it in the live stream and then maybe I'll make a little, a little uh, excerpt and post it to my channel. Have you seen this going around? And this comes from the new Apex DC, I believe is the frame. And it says, a major drawback of the Cadex Vista system is that the body of the unit is grounded. This can cause the conductive carbon fiber plates and frame hardware to be grounded too. In an ideal world, this is not a problem, but in the real world, it's an accident waiting to happen. Alongside the required M2 mounting hardware for the Vista, Impulse RC includes a die-cut Mylar insulator and custom-machined cone rivets from non-conductive POM. And this electrically isolates the Cadex Vista from the frame. And there's a big discussion going on over whether this is BS and this is just a frame manufacturer making up fear mongering or whether this is actually addressing a legitimate problem. And I'm happy to tell you that both sides are right. <laughs> or both sides are wrong. But that, that would just sound like throwing shade and I don't feel like going there. So here's why it's BS. Okay. I'm going to start out by telling you why it's BS, but I want you to know that then I'm going to tell you why it's actually sometimes not BS, okay? The first reason it's BS is that the frame of the Vista, the outer plates of the Vista, uh, I haven't checked this, but the outer plates of the Vista are not actually grounded. They're not grounded. Uh, you can test this with a multimeter. I haven't verified this. Other people have said this, uh, and I, I have no reason to disbelieve them. What's actually grounded is the mounting screw, the mounting holes. The actual case of the Vista, if that's true, which we can verify with a multimeter, but I'm not going to do that right here on the live stream. If that's true, then the outer heat sink of the Vista touching your carbon fiber is not grounding is not causing there to be a ground between the Vista and the frame. Why would that be bad? We'll get there. The other reason that that might not be true is that carbon fiber sheet has a coating, a resin coating. If you try to take your multimeter and test for conductivity, or uh, yeah, conductivity, between the surface of, of carbon fiber, you won't have it. But if you take like a screwdriver tip and you scrape away some of that resin coating. Now the conductive carbon fiber is conductive, but the actual resin coating that is on the, on the flat surface is not conductive. And so until there is some abrasion, the carbon fiber will not be conductive. Now, some people have experienced mounting their ESCs to the arms of their of their frame, and they don't use any like tape or anything to isolate it. And it's fine for a long time until eventually the normal vibration that a quadcopter is subject to rubs away enough of that resin coating to, ca to get to the, the, the sweet, sweet carbon fiber inside, and then you get a short circuit and your ESC blows. Okay. So there are a couple things about this we could nitpick, but that's missing the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is, is it bad to have a connection between a grounded electronic device and your frame. Because this issue is much wider than the Cadex Vista. For example, do you remember back when we used to mount SMA antennas through a hole in the top plate? And we would just literally screw the SMA connector to the top plate. There were various reasons that was bad mostly involving the durability of the antenna mounting. TPU mounting is flexible enough that the antenna can take a hit and not break as quickly. But when we were doing that, that SMA connector is grounded and it was grounding the frame. If you have a camera, an analog camera with a metal case, that metal case is probably grounded. And when you put those metal screws through the carbon fiber, uh, the carbon fiber camera plate, into the metal case, the, the frame will get ground from there. Some, but not all, ESCs. Some, but not all, flight controllers. The mounting holes are connected to ground. And they, the, the, the frame will get ground through that location. So there are many ways that a frame could get ground. And that leads us to the question, is that a bad thing? Now, 
if you look at any piece of consumer hardware, a consumer electronics, a television, a, a washer, a dryer, a, a PC case, a computer PC case, any piece of electronics with a metal case, the case will be grounded. And that's for safety reasons. They ground the case because they don't want if, if imagine if in your, in your electric clothes dryer, imagine if the 120 volt or 240 volt, if you're in Europe, if that wire got loose somehow and touched the, the actual metal case, I call it a case, the metal, whatever, shell outside of the dryer. Now that's energized and you come along, la di da di da with your laundry and you touch it and now you get a shock because you are now the path to ground. We have an energized thing with no path to ground. So what they do is they ground the case. And if the electric wire touches the case, there is a path to ground, current flows, it trips the circuit breaker, and then everything is great. So it is completely normal and expected in electronics that a case would have ground, that the mounting holes of a piece of electronics would be grounded. That is all completely normal. But is there a problem here? Is there a problem here that we're trying to solve? Okay, now we go to sort of part two of this rant. Why is it bad for the frame of a quadcopter to be grounded? The main reason it's bad is that if you get into a situation, just like with that electric clothes dryer, if you have a, po if you have a, a positive voltage well, we don't have 120 or 240 volt mains on a quadcopter. We have a VBAT. We have battery voltage, 6S, whatever, coming from your LiPo. And if that positive, imagine that the, the XT60 wire is going across a, a piece of carbon fiber and the sharp edge of the carbon fiber cuts through the insulation of the wire, okay? And now the, the frame, the carbon fiber frame is energized. Well, there's no circuit breaker like there is in your house. And when that frame becomes energized, electricity will flow through the carbon fiber, find any path to ground. Electricity takes all potential paths to ground and it will cause problems. Anything with current flowing through it, certainly the frame will be damaged. And anything else, if your flight controller has grounded mounting screws, when that XT60 wire gets cut, and, and feeds VBAT through the frame, that current will flow into the mounting screws of the flight controller, and then from there, through the ground wire of the flight controller, and potentially that will be excess current flow, and things will get burned out. So here is the point that the Apex DC is trying to make. The point that they're trying to make is, if your frame is not grounded, then, if you get into a situation where there is a stray battery wire that gets cut or somehow other, your capacitor, you have a capacitor with, with V, it's connected to VBAT and the capacitor leg breaks and now there's a stray wire dangling around in your quadcopter and it's got VBAT on it and somehow it touches the frame and now, oh, we got to pass the ground, boys. Let's fry some stuff. But if the frame is not grounded, then when that happens, nothing happens. The frame is energized. It is at a voltage potential of 25 volts or whatever your battery voltage is. But since there is nowhere for that potential to go, there's nowhere for that current to go, nothing bad happens. Now here, so that's the, that's the sort of valid argument. But the wording, the wording over here is a major drawback of the Cadex Vista system is that the body of the unit is grounded. That's not a that's not a major drawback of the Cadex system. It's completely normal in electronics for the frame, the case, the mounting holes. It's completely normal for them to be grounded. And in some circumstances, it's actually a safety precaution, although in the case of the Cadex Vista it probably isn't. It's completely normal. It's not a drawback of the Vista system. It is a fact that if you have a grounded frame, it means you have an additional failure mode that wouldn't otherwise have existed. The argument is that 
if you have some stray wire that is putting battery voltage on your frame, then if there's no path to ground, oh, I guess everything's okay. No, everything's not okay. You, you have a disaster waiting to happen. The fact that the disaster hasn't happened yet because you've, you, you, you've avoided grounding out your frame, someday, you know, who knows? You gotta fix that problem. If you prefer to prevent your frame from being grounded, more power to you. There are many sources of ground though. You're gonna be using nylon screws to mount your ESC and your flight controller potentially, which is gonna compromise durability. You're gonna be using 3D prints to mount your SMA uh, antenna connector and your, your camera, which, you know, not the end of the world. There's, very, there's many ways that you're gonna to need to work around this. More power to you, but to claim that this is some like drawback of the Vista, it's not unique to the Vista. And you really should just be building your quadcopter so you don't have a stray VBAT wire putting VBAT on your frame. Your frame doesn't need to be energized. Now there's a couple more little things to say and then we're gonna read some super chats and take some, I haven't been reading the comments. And I know that's annoying when the streamer doesn't read the comments. I've been kind of just trying to get this out in an organized way. Um, the other way that this problem can happen is with your motor screws. Your motor screws are too long. Your motor screw cuts into the motor wire or touches the windings and then when the ESC drives the motor, VBAT is energizing the motor screw, and since the motor screw is touching the cut, the cut edge of the carbon, the, then the frame becomes energized. At that point, if there is any path to ground through the frame, you'll get hot carbon in the arms, your motor screws will get super hot, and you'll have problems, the quad won't fly right, your motors will get super hot, things will be bad. But if the frame somehow wasn't grounded, you could get away with that. There was a person who said, as soon as I put screws in my Vista, my motor screws got hot. So see, they're right. And I'm like, no, your, your motor screws are touching your motor wires. That's bad for many other reasons. The fact that you can get away with it by not grounding out your Vista doesn't mean you don't have a problem. The other thing is there is an argument to be made that when the frame is grounded, it becomes, a, 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 it has an effect on the RF signal of the antenna, on the VTX antenna, in a way that it doesn't when it's not grounded. And there's some validity to that, although it's a little hard to characterize, but I do want to acknowledge it. And that is my take on that. In short, in short, it's BS because it's not unique to the Vista. And if you build your quad correctly, it doesn't matter if the frame is grounded. You don't need to think about it. But it's not BS because in some situations, it does create a problem. And the, t and the real advantage of this is that when you screw up and you, you accidentally energize your frame, anything with a path to ground is gonna get fried potentially. So by not grounding your Vista, you potentially protect your Vista from getting fried on the day when you screw up and accidentally cut your VBAT wire or something. And so by not grounding those things, you potentially protect them from getting fried and save yourself money. Okay. Um, okay. If you don't think about it, though, you're not wrong. And if you do think about it, you're also not wrong. But personally, I just mount my Vista with double-sided sticky tape and zip ties. The zip ties through the mounting holes. And that, it happens to electrically isolate it, but it's also just my preferred way of mounting it. 